Alright, so welcome back to the War Chief Club 19. And we've got the Oceanic Wing up. And we've got Cyark in green on Delhi up against Really in orange on Rus. And it's going to be a bit of a hard and fast game, this one. And we are using the Spectator UI today. So welcome back to the War Chief Club. So really he's just going for it on these deer. He's Rus, so he just wants the early gold. He's got his hunting cabin over here, but really, I guess he probably could have even put it over here. Put the house inside of it. It's going to mean a little bit of extra walk time, but... Sire, he went straight for his berries. And so our Rus player going to be eager to get three scouts out. Delhi player. And I've gotten two. So really he's cleared all these the little hunts and his main hunt. He can clear it out up here. Shame I can't actually see his gold contribution. So he's up to 175 already. He's already got a pretty good haul, but Sayak has already cleared out a lot of his own hunts to really prevent a huge gold gen here from really. So both our players just working towards aging up. Pretty standard in age one on these sips. It's really only Mongols that you see a hard and fast. Oh, I should tower rush most matchups, most small maps. Doesn't always happen all that much on the other sieves. But H2 is often quite hard and fast and quite chaotic. Most matchups, and I think the Rus player will be looking to do that against the Delhi player, but in the meanwhile, Delhi have a really nice spam. Because the Scholars, once they've got the... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. The improved production, they can garrison Scholars in the mosques. And uh, reap the benefit of all buildings. Basically working at double production speed. All military production speed, sorry. So for every two barracks and ranges your opponent's going to have early on. You're going to have... The same, and the production of two. So it'll really allow Sark to get the edge in terms of army count, but the Rus player really is going to have the advantage of early night production. And why a standard? Because they go for the extra scouts, and it tends to be the city you play most comfortably off. Heavy scouts. Gonna have a bit of scouting intel over his opponent. Seems to be getting quite a few more wolves now. So Sayak unable to interrupt that one. So 285 gold generated with the cross bounty mechanic. So quite solid for really, and he's even moving out with eight <laughs> villages for this. He wants to go for a really aggressive tower. Or, possibly just look at going for this mid-map boar. Actually, yeah, that's what he's going to try and do, but it looks like Sayark is going to commit his scouts to try and take it as far away from his opponent as possible. Let's try and delay things here. Looks like really he'll be able to get it inside the tower range and actually 
put a nice cabin down around this though. I wonder if Sark is going to try and go for the steal here. But with that scout parked on top of it, he's not going to be able to get it, so really has a good opportunity. Oh, he's up to 410 gold, but even better if he was up to 420. That's a really nice spot for it, actually. I was going to say you could put it here and it would be quite safe, but this might be even slightly greedier on the gold generation for him. Oops. 33 gold a minute. That's pretty solid. So he's getting a third of a relic value out of that. So early on, Syarch just looks to be... Well, he's not training any production, but for now he's getting the upgrade to Harden Spears. And he's getting his stables as well. Oh, and he's doing it. Syarch has got the Scholar. Inside the mosque, while the barracks is training the upgrade to Harden, I don't believe it, guys. Top tier players are finally playing Delhi properly. I don't believe it. Woo! I'm over the moon with that. This upgrade is going to upgrade a whole, like, eight seconds faster, man. Unbelievable. And now there's the other scholar going straight into the stables, I imagine. No! No! Why? Syarch, why? Put him in the stables. You've still got like 40 seconds of production or put him back in the mosque. What are you doing? No, I take it all back. So now the spear production starts. I swear the UI said there was like 40 seconds left on that. Oh, but this is a pretty scary forward base here for... Really, and he's opted for a barracks as well. Not actually gone for... A range just yet. He's gone for this. See, sorry, he has gone for a range back at home. I'm actually going for a stables himself yet, though, I don't think. Man, my casting of this game has been horrible. Sorry, guys. I spent all that time moaning about how Delhi players just used to rally. The scholar straight into the barracks while it was still getting the upgrade on the hardened spears. And Syarch then did it. <laughs> but hey, at least the second one went into the mosque. And I thought the third was going straight into the stables first. Or could have even gone into the mosque. But yeah, now that double production is going to kick in here for Syarch. So he'll really be able to muster up a nice force against his opponent. Messiah can look at pushing out and trying to contest Sacreds, but this army here is really going to prevent him from getting control of the central one, and really is walled in both of the outer ones already. So this has been quite smart from him, because it really locks out the Delhi player from really taking advantage of that unique tech of... Um, I can't remember the name. I don't play Delhi. Sorry, guys. Anyway. Delhi basically can get access through one of their free Most techs to capturing sacred sites an age early, right now in the feudal age, but really has just taken that option off Syarch's hands already from about seven minutes into the game. And now Syarch cleaning up a scout. He's possibly going to look at trying to scout with a spear. And I was going to say raid with the horsemen, but he's bringing them back with the army for now. Yes, I'm right, going to go for a bit of a look-see, a bit of a scout with the spearmen. Really trying to take an engagement on Sark's doorstep here. 
It's a good number of archers for both players right now, but the scholars are going to get focused down first, I think. Although, Archer Count thinned out now a bit for really. He's going to have to back off. Sark not really wanting to extend either. He doesn't have a front line of any kind. Well, I don't know what happened to that one spear of Sayark. It must have got cleaned up by a, a bowman just coming out of the range. This archer count really favouring really unskilled at the moment. He's proving that he's more than unskilled. He's actually quite skilled. It's Sayak uh, holding out for now again. The gold gatherer has still not been touched. Sayak uh, gathering quite a bit of gold, uh, wood right now. He does have double blacksmith, so he's going to slam all these upgrades out. And I mean, I guess he's floating a little bit of wood just because when he does eventually get this siege engineering tech, he's going to be able to push out quite well. With a couple of rams. Sending some bills to go and going to throw down farms or I'm going to try and throw down an outpost on a mill here. Wants to creep forward behind this little push, but he is losing a lot of his spears. Bow count. He's just favoring really and now he sends the spears in, so now he buys himself a bit of time with the bows. Well, I don't think Syarx continued producing his horsemen through this, which probably could help wreck this bowman wall. Now the village is being picked off of Syarx. Why, really? Two of them able to get the tower finished. That's a bit of an eco blow. And the bow count is still pretty even with really coming into support and now he's got more units it's merely in tow it's finally a horseman here but he charges straight into the spears and this has been rough for Syark he's not really been able to get a critical mass that he's been looking for of horsemen to actually really threaten really army at all here and GG taps out early in this one